Hello and welcome back to DC Elite Basketball Training. Today I have Cutler with me today and we're going to talk about progressions and what that means. Let's get to it. All right, we're going to talk about progressions today and what that means in the game of basketball. Uh, with Cutler, we're going to work on a few drills and show you how you tie into each other to make a move to attack a defender or to get to the bucket. All right, so the first drill we're going to work on today is an overtop cross. Now, for my athletes, when we're working on an overtop cross, I like them to have to stand on a line. It could be a half court line, a free throw line, or whatever. So the object of the, this crossover is to pull the ball across your waist, then dribble it beside your foot. So the term over top cross comes over top your waist and dribble. So you're pulling the ball over and over. Now I'm going to have color start, and if he does really well, then I'm going to have him progress on something else. All right, so he's going to give me nice 10 reps of over top cross dribbles. All right, here we go. Okay, that was pretty good for Cutler. Uh, when you start out doing an over top cross dribble, you might need to take a few dribbles first, and then pull it over. Then once you get better and better at the drill, you're going to want to do each dribble on the dribble over top cross. Over top, over top, over top. Why is this an advantage uh, more than the under cross? So let's just say Cutler was guarding me or he was guarding someone his own size and you're going full court. When you're trying to go full court, full speed, it's hard to keep full speed and do an underneath cross and be explosive out of that and get to a point you want to get to on the court. When you use an over top cross, it enables you to protect the ball and run to it making you faster in the open court. All right, that's one of the reasons why I use over top cross. I'll use it for different reasons as well, but just for today's drill, that's how we're going to use it. Now the next drill is called a cross back. So what I'm trying to do is cross the ball behind my back, but go the opposite direction. Now if color can just step aside here. So when the ball is going this way, my momentum is going this way. Okay, that's the start of this drill, and I'll explain more after Cutler gets it. We'll walk him through it. All right, now you see, this is Cutler's first time ever doing this drill. I showed him just a few seconds ago even what it was. So he did three dribbles. That was actually pretty good. Um, so basically, when you get this drill going pretty well, Try to get better and better at it. So we're going to have him do it again. And we'll go for about uh, 10 seconds or so and see how he does. Three, two, one. Good. Get back, right into it. Here we go. All right, come on back. Yeah, this is all on film, Cutler. It's all right. Um, the worst thing you can do is get frustrated whether you're a young athlete or elite athlete, I see high school kids, the grade school kid, and even college kids get worked up because they can't do a particular move. Just concentrate on the move itself and get better and better. And we're going to do it one more time. And Cutler's not going to get frustrated. He's going to do me, just do four reps. Four reps, here we go. One, two, three, four, good. All right. Now, the reason I want to do this move is if I'm going to the wing, or anywhere really, I'm trying to dribble the ball back and look this way to sell the defense 
that I'm going to do something in this direction when really all I'm doing is setting myself for, up for a shot right here. So just to walk it back a little bit, I'm going here, looking, and then I'm going to get into a one-two stop pull. Okay, which leads us into the next thing, is a one-two stop. A lot of young shooters, when they shoot, like to dribble, then land on two feet and shoot, which is fine. But I like to see my athletes progress into a one-two step, where you dribble, take one step, load two steps, up in your shot. It's better for momentum and shooting long range and keeping good balance and control. Okay, so now we'll have Color do a one-two step. I know he can do this because I've already taught it to him. He's just going to dribble, one-two. Like he's going to shoot the ball. Dribble, one-two. All right. Good. Good. One more. Okay, break. Now you see in there he went left, right every time. Now we'll just switch it and go right, left. Uh-huh. And okay. Not bad. Okay, break. Now you see color wasn't quite as good with his right, left. Right, left step as he was his left, right. So in this week of practice, I would have on Cutler's worksheet to work on right lefts for 50 to 100 reps a day. Just dribble, one, two. Just working on that rhythm and getting your feet set. Okay, so now we're going to talk about progressions in the whole drill we just worked on here and how it all ties together. So if Keller steps aside here, what I'm going to show you is I want to get a shot on this wing. I already know I want a shot on that wing, but I know I got a pretty good defender. Let's say you're down six points, you need some shots, or you just know he's not very good at defending you on the perimeter. So I'm going to try and get to a location already predetermined. So the first point is me to get there as quickly as I can. So for me to get there as quickly as I can, I'm going to get to that spot at an angle or if you're lucky enough you can just dribble straight up at it. But for this drill I'm going to assume I got a defender in front of me. I'm going to over top cross so I keep my full speed momentum going. I can pass that defender, then I'm coming to the wing. I got the ball on my cross back, and everything's facing this way. Okay, I'll start right here, just one more time. Remember, I'm looking, everything's looking off, because I know I want to shoot this shot. I'm looking off, and as soon as I plant this front foot, that's my one, two. We'll do it one more time, and I'll try to talk as I'm doing it. One, two, shot. All right, we'll try to do this full speed and show you what it looks like. So we got an over top cross. We have a behind the back, cross back, and we got a one, two step. So three drills we worked on at the beginning of practice, let's say, we're going to tie it into one drill as the full court. That's usually how I like to do my drills with uh, athletes that are a little more progressive. Over top cross, look off the defender, come back, shot. All right, we're back again. Now it's going to be Cutler's turn. I know he's been yawning. He's tired. It's been a long day. He's got a lot of basketball in the day. Um, but we're going to walk through this with him. He's never done this before as the whole drill. He's done individual drills. Now we're going to try and walk through it and just see how it goes. He's going to start just under the hoop. Yeah, he's going to come up over top cross into a cross back, one two jump shot. Swish. Okay, see it again.
Swish, good. Nice shot. All right, uh, do it one more time. I'll play a little defense. Here we go. Good. Good, cross back. One, two, jump shot. All right, you see Nair Keller is actually pretty good that move. He caught on really quick. Some athletes are going to catch on quicker than others. Keller does have pretty good ball handling skills and catches on two new drills pretty quick. Uh, now with this move, it can progress into many things. Uh, I'm going to walk you through just a couple extra tips and tricks for this same shot. And uh, basically, you can make the move your own however you want. Uh, if we come over here. So if you made this exact same shot a couple times, right there, and then you can come into counter moves. Okay, you've done the over top cross, you're coming here, come here. Then you can get to another over top cross. Into an in and out, pull back, jump shot. It's gonna be as much as you want it to be, make it your own. Um, so for this, We'll let color just do something random here and just see what it looks like. But the main part of the drill is going to be over top cross into a cross back. Then he can do it one counter move off of that. He's going to make the move his own now. You know, that's the best thing about basketball. You can make every move your own. Even though a teacher explains something a certain way, doesn't mean that to be exactly done that way. All right, with no instruction other than just make sure he does the two drills we did, he's going to do something on his own. Here we go. All right, there it is. There's a progression series of how to utilize individual drills and time into a drill you can use full court or even a half court scenario. Um, like and subscribe to the channel if you like the content. Uh, we're gonna have new stuff coming out each week. It could be very youth oriented. It could be more progressive, elite oriented. I just never know when I'm going to put out that week. And uh, Color says, if he makes this shot backwards, I have 10 push-ups. <laughs> but if he misses, he has 10 push-ups. Let's see it. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching and see you next time.